Grant's Getaways is brought to you by Visit Tillamook Coast and KGW. Back road adventures are the very best. You know, the ones that let you enjoy a sneak peek at nature. We're tucked up here in the Oaks and it's a different wildlife area. The White River Wildlife Area, nearly 30,000 acres on eastern approach to Mount Hood for a different point of view. I got friends I talked to down there in the valley and they say, oh, look at our view from there. You should see it from this side, you know. <laughs> it is really shines from here. The White River Wildlife Area was established in the 50s to keep wintering deer and a growing elk herd up here in the Cascade foothills, less than 20 miles from Mount Hood, rather than down below on neighboring farmlands. A feeding program serves the wildlife. It's given a bit more opportunity for more viewing. Nearby, Ty Valley Overlook provides a peak to the namesake White River, while several lakes and ponds are a short cast away. Pine Hollow and Rock Creek Reservoir, and a lot of people come out and camp. Not steep banks or anything, so it's pretty good for, for kids to fish in. You may wish to strike out further east on the short drive to another secret hideaway. The White River plunges over a basalt shelf at an Oregon State Park that offers a sprawling greenway with picnic tables. It's a day-use site that opens each spring. And then explore the rugged quarter-mile trail that takes you riverside, where you discover something more. It's a complicated series of flumes and pipes that diverted water from the White River right here into this power generation room, a series of about a half a dozen turbines generated enough power to provide electricity to the entire region from about 1910 to 1960 when the Dalles Dam was completed and this place shut down. For safety reasons, Oregon State Parks does not want visitors inside the powerhouse building. So observe the signs as you explore the area. And don't forget a camera. There are powerful moments at every turn of this trail that connect with overlooks where two plunge pool falls drop more than 90 feet in dramatic fashion. The park is a popular picnicking, hiking, and fishing retreat for visitors who wish to dip their toes in the greater Deschutes River Basin. It offers easy-to-reach high desert landscape for scenery, history, and wildlife. Along the White River, with photographer Jeff Kastner, Grant McComey, KGW. That is beautiful. You can find the details and directions on KGW.com. Just click on the Grant's Getaways page under the Features tab. And be sure to watch Grant's half-hour show. It airs Saturdays and Sunday afternoons at 4 o'clock.